What can you tell me about where your character ends and how you feel about it? I can tell you that uh, that Jake gets what was coming to him. You know, they uh, they took some time sort of developing the sort of all these atrocities that Jake has done over a hundred plus episodes and he's never really paid a steep price for it and and uh, and Jake ends up losing his freedom at the end and and even though he is uh, incarcerated and and rightly so there's a great moment that they put in there where where Jake closes his eyes and takes himself in his own mind back to the island with Olivia and we sort of get the feeling that he's going to be okay, even in his current position. So it was a, it was a nice ending for me. I love that. Yeah. So incarcerated but not dead, because I've been worried that dead would be the case. Incarcerated but not dead. He can always get out. There's always a way. So tell me about um, uh, a reboot. There's so many reboots going on these days. So since he's alive, maybe five years from now, would you all come back? Yeah, look, I mean, this is a group of people that I would work with. Uh, forever, and I think um, I think to a person we would all agree that it would be fun. Uh, I think it's a little early to talk about any sort of reboots we uh, uh, just finished, and I think we all need a little breath to find ourselves again and reconnect with our families, and um, you know, see my friends who I haven't seen in six, seven years. Uh, but yeah, any chance to work with these people again, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Now, there's a guy wandering around somewhere here, the prankster, Josh Molina. Yeah. Now, tell me about the Kimmel prank, because we saw the preview. We'll watch it tonight. Were you involved, and how good was it? I was not involved. I knew it was going to happen. I wasn't directly involved. You know, Josh has been the um, the prankster on set, and I think of all the sets he's worked on, <laughs> he, he's been the prankster. And, uh, and we spent a little time. I know Kimmel was deeply involved in it, but they, um, they played a prank on him that made me, made my jaw drop. Like he, it looked like he felt as if he might have killed someone, um, legitimately given someone a heart attack. Uh, it was great, it was great. And then his face, when Jimmy Kimmel came in as an ambulance worker, like phenomenal. And then they sprayed him with a fire hose. Like uh, I was ultimately so satisfied. Because you, you all finally got revenge. Because it was his turn, yes. Lastly, let me just show you this. Um, we have no, we have the cover of. Hey, look at that. Woke issue. The woke issue. How much are you gonna miss her? I mean, how? Uh, I hate you. You hate to deduce it to this, but how beautiful is she? She's just stunning. And and I have to say, I've never been uh, one. Uh, never been a sycophantish type of person, but she. Uh, I would follow her to the ends of the earth.